A month ago, I was walking home from a night out with friends, and while I was uh, approaching Duisburg main station, uh, a guy came up to me from the back very suddenly, without me seeing him beforehand, and grabbed me between my legs. And I turned around, I was in complete shock, I was in outrage, I tried to run after him and scream at him, curse at him, only with one thought in my head that if I scare him enough, he will not do this to any other woman again in his life. Um, after a while, after a couple of blocks, I lost him in the dark and I called the police and um, the police came straight away with three cars. Uh, they interrogated me, they asked me if I was feeling fine, if I needed psychological support. They called for a search to find this guy and um, they even took my jacket and my dress to find traces. Um, and I felt safe again. They brought me home. I felt taken seriously in this moment. And I know that this police reaction, I owe to the debates that we had in the last month around the Istanbul uh, Convention. And that is why I want to now uh, say my thanks to all the women in this chamber, but also in the member states and all over the world who have fought for this to happen. But still, even though I had this positive experience, there are thousands and tens of thousands of women who do not get this treatment when they are being harassed or when they are facing sexualized violence. They are still facing being ridiculed and not being taken seriously. And without millions of women who fought for this uh, convention and for other steps that were taken against violence against women, this would not have been possible. So without these forefighters and without documents like the Istanbul Convention, the fight against violence against women is still not a given. And the fact that I could feel safe and the fact that we are struggling to have every single woman in the world feeling safe um, needs to be our motivation to continue and to exceed the Istanbul Convention in the full scope and to not let one day pass without fighting against violence against women. So we need to take this step now. This will certainly not be the last step, but a very, very important and historic step on uh, the way to a society without violence against women. Thank you very much.